Hello, citizens of YouTube. This is the Geeky Nerd here. And today, we're going to be doing a video talking about how to properly get your AK sling set up. So before I begin, I'd like to send a big thank you out to everyone who's liked, commented, and or subscribed on the previous videos. I always appreciate it. Always enjoy talking to you guys. And for anyone who's new here to the channel, welcome. If you enjoy this type of video, enjoy this type of content, please consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing, and checking out some of the other videos we have. With the PR out the way, let's get into it. So... This happens to be my AK SLR 106F, all-time favorite AK. This is my home defense AK. want to trust my life to. Love it to death, literally. And with that, I believe you should always have a sling on your rifle. If you want to check out our review on this rifle, check out the channel here. We've got a few videos on it. Now, with an AK sling, this does happen to be an AKM pattern style rifle. There are a few different variations, but this is particularly for the AKM, which is primarily what you're going to see out there in the market. You can tell that uh, because it will have a sling swivel on one, um, one side of the AK, kind of like a loop here. And then on the other side, towards the upper end of the handguard, you're going to see a uh, little clip. Now, this just happens to be a Vickers Blue Force, uh, Blue Force sling. Blue Force sling. Uh, I just prefer those kind of the the, the better of the uh, better of the AK slings out there because some of them will mar them up the front, but uh, it's not the point of this video. This uh, just happens to be uh, happens to have steel braided wire, but you can't have the clip ones. They are going to function just the same. And with that, uh, this does happen to be a side folder AK. This works for all variations, uh, but especially works well for side folders. Uh, how I'm going to show you this method. So. With that, the first thing you want to do is when you have your clip, you want to make sure that it is flat. Uh, it is The buckle is not flipped around this way. It is laying flat against your receiver. As that's running down here, you're going to see, as soon as I kind of straighten it up again, because it is a sling swivel, so I'm trying to show you the general look of it, and I'll break mine down and show you how easy it is. Uh, you want to have your next buckle is going to be straight up, perfectly flat up. Uh, again, this is for the blue force. And the second buckle that loops around the back is going to be uh, flat like this. When it's all said and done, it's going to essentially uh, come straight down. It's going to loop around the back. And then, in my case, I have to thread it through just a little bit. And I take the uh, quick cinch. And it's hard doing this with tripod here, guys. <laughs> um, but go to a quick little cinch. Boom, it will stay nice and seated uh, against your AK. Of course, you can you know, fin that up there and make it a bit tighter, and with the button on this one, it happens to go. Um, but once it's folded, uh, breaks down nice and easy, and now your, uh, your entire sling is nice and bomb-proof, not kinked in any way, shape, or form, and you can carry it uh, nice and easy-like. So... I'm going to show you guys how I got it set up like this. So this being a folder, it's just nice to get set up like this way. I'm going to disassemble it, the things I do for you guys. <laughs> Again, it's a relatively simple process. So you can see here, disassemble the whole thing. We have this buckle here laying flat, the clip here, whatever clip you have. And then this is all threaded out, nothing looped. So you're going to take this back swivel, orient it, don't matter which way you have it. You're going to then take it and you're going to thread it straight through the hole. So obviously it's gonna hit this buckle, and then you're gonna feed it through. Now, if you don't have a folding AK, essentially, all you're gonna do is untangle this. You're going to take this, Flip it. Again, you're going to want to keep this flat. Keep it straight and flat through. And same principle. So from here, you're going to take it and you're going to feed it through to where, uh, to where you're able to feed it through on this side. So again, you can see here, it's going flat all the way through. And you can see how it's uh, uh, generally set up. I'm going to just refold mine because I find that easier. At least for me. If you don't have a folding stock, sucks to be you. No. <laughs> uh, yep, that way. Follow my methodology here. So feed it through. Just straight. 
Gonna hit this buckle, make sure everything's nice and lined up. Going to feed it through this one end. Get it nice and tight. Feed it through this end. Get it nice and tight. Feed it through this end. And feed it through this end. So just how I know my gun and how, uh, how it's set up is that this is gonna be too much for me. So I'm going to back pedal just this, just a little bit to where I only got the uh, tag of the dog set. And what I like to do is, especially with these Blue Force uh, Vickers Tactical Slings, which AK Slings, best one to get, in my opinion, is uh, you can see there, I line mine up with there, just kind of where I know where it is. And so I know this is a bit too long in here. I make this part nice and flat. Make sure that's cinched. Pull that. I know that fabric's through. And now I know once I flip my stock out, it should be just a little bit. I see. It needs a little bit tighter. Yes, I know. I just said I know my gun, but <laughs> I don't think I had this pulled all the way tight. But essentially. Just kind of general process that you do. Now, what what purpose is this really serving? Uh, it's serving a few. It's uh, it looks cooler, in my opinion. Take a little bit out. Keeps it nice and tidy, uh, and makes your uh, sling not a, it makes it an asset, a force multiplier, and not a hindrance uh, upon your standard duties. So here, I think this is going to be a bit too tight, but let's see. Draw it here, and as I draw it, Sorry about that jump cut there, guys. The camera got a little weird. Um, but one thing I just wanted to add is that you, you're you going to have, uh, once you get everything kind of, you know, tightened up, uh, does take just a bit of finagling, uh, you're going to have this extra fabric here. You have a few options of what you can do. Uh, you can just cut it. However, once fully extended, it's going to, um, unless you have this sling like fully out in this position, it's going to make it a bit... Uh, a bit tight. So just want to demonstrate what I kind of do is that with this extra fabric, instead of... Um, Having that just left over and be used, what I'll do is, which I'm sure you saw in the beginning, is I already know my correct length. I have it to where once I'm uh, in the correct general position, once I draw it nice and tight, cinch it up, it's hitting the end. It's uh, staying put. You can make it a bit tighter, uh, but generally it's staying in place. So I'm going to loosen this up. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to thread this down to where it's right about there. So just keep it nice and nice and tidy. You don't ever want to go to the edge of these because obviously you can pull out and there goes, uh, there goes part of your sling. So keep it nice and tight. Draw that out. Keep this, uh, this part here. And you're just going to feed that through until this stays nice and flat. Once that stays flat, then I'm going to feed it through the other end. I'm going to make mine just a wee bit tighter, actually, just than what uh, just than what it was. And I said a wee bit. Nice and flat. A wee bit. Well. A wee bit should have just went straight back to. So guys, we all make mistakes, and it just takes a uh, just takes a patient man or woman. It's all about having fun. So now you see this is going to be a bit loose, just as it currently stands. However, what I have to do is you take it on this side, you feed it through this little loop, back feed it through like this. So you take it, you flip it down like this, and then you feed it through this way to where this buckle is basically staying right against here. And this part back here is laying flat against the rifle so that when the gun is folded, let me see. 
say. Once I got it. Okay, do that, do that. Fold it up nice and tight. So that when it folds up in that position and then you draw it, draw it nice and tight, you'll see there, it's actually going to uh, keep your sling. It's gonna keep it all nice and tucked in. It isn't going anywhere. So it will keep it tight because it is using that and uh, it's just not able to slip through. But then as soon as you need it, boom, 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 got your full sling. So I know this is kind of a, uh, kind of a bit of a long video, but if you stayed around this long, I appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, enjoy this type of content, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. If you have any kind of questions or anything like that uh, with this general method that I've used, uh, please feel free to let them know below. And with that, I hope everyone is having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day. I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.